Governor, as I stated previously, I, I understand that the charges could not be more serious against Mr. Crumbly. But again, that is not the only factor that the court must consider when deciding where the best placement is for Mr. Crumbly. Um, Ms. Collins details some of the text messages uh, that you will see as part of your exhibits. As defense exhibit A, you will see Mr. Crumbly around this time is texting his friend, Brady, I need help. I was thinking of calling 911 so I could go to the hospital, but then my parents would be really pissed. He details seeing things, seeing people, hearing voices, and then they disappear. He discusses telling his parents again that he needs therapy, that he needs treatment, that he needs to talk to someone, that this time he's going to tell his parents about the voices he is hearing. This is someone who was having, in my opinion, a mental health crisis and no one did a thing. This is someone who had no, or pr no prior suspensions or issues with his peers whatsoever. No, no prior criminal charges. We've heard today that while he was at Children's Village, there was no issues. We also heard today that when he was placed at the jail, he, as a precautionary measure, was placed on constant watch and that they wanted to establish a baseline for his behavior. We also heard he was taken off constant watch. If Mr. Crumbly was someone who did not follow directions, did not follow orders, I would assume that he would still be on constant watch. No issues of misbehavior while at the Oakland County Jail. Ms. Collins argues that Mr. Crumbly is, is maybe of higher education or, or smarts of someone that is 15 years of age. I would agree, Mr. Crumbly is a very, very smart kid. He is, but that should not then be used against him. Chil the individual that testified from Children's Village was very clear that her facility is a secure facility, that there are things in place there that if they have concerns about an inmate safety, that they can place them on a type of watch um, or security measure that keeps them from having the availability to have pencils. Well, we heard from uh, Lieutenant Vita today, Mr. Crumbly has pencils and there's been no issues with the pencils that he has. But at Children's Village, if they really had those concerns about Mr. Crumbly, they have a procedure in place to make sure nothing happens. Again, when these offenses were committed, Your Honor, um, my client was hallucinating, seeing things and hearing voices. He was not sleeping. That is detailed in these text messages. He was extremely anxious and he had no one in his corner to get him the therapy that he so desperately needed. We have been able to visit him, I think between the three of us, probably close to 20 times. Has he adjusted to life in the jail? He has. Do I think that that's the best place for him? I absolutely do not. He is completely isolated. And for someone who has mental health issues, isolation is horrific. He is in that cell 24 hours a day, except if he is leaving the cell to visit us or to take a shower. Lieutenant Vita was very clear in relation to the education aspect. He can't say if Mr. Crumbly has logged on to Khan Academy or not. The emails uh, that Ms. Collins mentioned, Your Honor, these are emails from strangers all around the world that send Mr. Crumbly emails. These are not individuals that Mr. Crumbly went looking for or that he knew. These are individuals, mostly women, who have taken it upon themselves to message him and give him well wishes and message him extremely frequently. Um, I would say that at Children's Village, we would be able to control that communication um, as a 15 year old, obviously being in the jail, he doesn't have a parent saying, who are you talking to? It's kind of free and, and it's a free for all really. Anyone in the entire world could message Mr. Crumbly if they set up an account. So again, Your Honor, I would ask you uh, when you review all of those exhibits to look at the statute and look at the factors that are enumerated by the JJDPA. Um, and I believe that after the testimony today and after a review, of the exhibits that will be presented to you, I do think that the appropriate placement for Mr. Crumbly is at Children's Village. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Ms. Lofton.